Starships, the future of interstellar travel, the practical realization of a starship functional design for the 22nd century by Dr. Marco Bittetto. Copyright 2012 by Dr. Marco Bittetto. Starships are simply vehicles capable of voyaging between stars. Unlike the starships of science fiction, our present robotically controlled starships like Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyager 1 and 2 would take several thousand years to arrive at the nearest star on the arc of their trajectory we need to develop a spacecraft to travel from star system to star system at an appreciable fraction of the speed of light experiencing both the effects of the general and special theories of relativity. We estimate that a mission to our nearest star system, the triple star system of Alpha Century, would be about 10 Earth years. Such a mission could be achieved with the scaled-up versions of existing technology. We recommend a ship fly well above the elliptic plane to avoid collisions with micro-meteorites, meteorites, and planetoids. At present, the cost of onboard resources for a human crew is prohibitive. Likely as not the first such interstellar missions to embark, will adhere to the following theoretical applications advanced by Gregory Venter starships must have the following infrastructure. Automated navigation system in the form of a differential clock pulse analyzer. Matter anti-matter engines in redundancy. Ionizing laser solid cone-shaped beam. Superconducting magnets with redundant cryo-cooling subsystem for magnetic envelope around the starship. Such magnets most efficiently generate a magnetic field that protects the spacecrafts rotational biosphere and robotic control systems from solar-based radiation and on coming ionized gases in a manner similar to that of the Earth's magnetic field. Page 2. Likely as not the first such interstellar missions to embark will adhere to the following. Theoretical applications advanced by Gregory Venter. Rotational bio-ring with temperature regulation system to act as crew quarters and a mobile science station, with redundancies, and a rotational rate simulating lunar gravity. Twelve orbital planetary probes with equipment for doing multiple experiments, that include weather study, radar-based terrain mapping, instrumentation to detect magnetic fields, instrumentation to detect background radiation, and communications equipment. We need so many space probes, because we need redundancy and multi-dash mission capability built into our interstellar science mission to the triple star system of Alpha Century. Solar panels for each space probe, both orbiting and mobile, and also for the starship. Fast breeder reactors for starship redundant power. The power generation technology of a fast breeder reactor was selected because practical fusion reactors are still not possible. Radiation shielding for both the reactors and the engines. Storage units for archaeobacteria including gene sequences to bioengineer foodstuff for crew and archaeobacteria, including automated injection system and machine vision-based microscopy systems and Growth vats with growth medium for archaeobacteria. Archaeobacteria were chosen for our genetic engineering host because they are impervious to deadly levels of radiation, acidic environments, and environments that would normally kill typical forms of Earth life. Crew maintenance. Entire knowledge dash based gene sequence of the crew will be stored within the starship's fault tolerant robot brain controlling the 12 artificial wombs with nutrients. To generate new DNA strands for a crew of 12 must be redundant. 12 nanny based robots to raise and educate each new generation of the crew and finally a biodigestion system to recycle the dead bodies of the crew.